you're probably getting destroyed by Van DK and FC24. But that's because you probably don't have greats of the game, Ronaldinho, aka Horse Dinho. Or is it true? Because today we'll be finding out if this card is wondrous, mid, or doo doo. We're gonna be putting him to the test, and I'll be letting you know by the end of this video. But why should you listen to me? Well, I consistently get rank one and rank two of FUD champion, and I also do very well in the elite division. So I believe I can help recommend you the best cards to use to help get you more wins and cards to use to enjoy. So first we're gonna talk about his pace all the way down to his physicality. And I'm gonna break down what I like and don't like about the card. But before we even get into anything, be sure to follow the Twitch link in the description or link in the comments to tune in to watch the gameplay live. And also, if you need fuck coins, be sure to use code CV3 on U7 Buy for 6% off. Link in the description or link in the comments for cheap and safe coins. So now let's talk about his pace. Now for me, using this card with his pace, there were times when I was using this pace. And let me tell you something, that quick step is a real deal. I'm not gonna lie to you. Throughout some of the gameplay early on using this card, it was early in the servers and the servers were kind of heavy. So all the players that I was using didn't feel the best, but I could tell when the gameplay was nice, this card was gonna be dangerous. So his quick step was very nice with that quick step plus and get into spaces very well. Now, sometimes I did wish he had rapid plus or rapid regular regular no comment cylinder, but for some reason, he still kind of fell super fast. There were times he was still outpacing some of these, some of these right back. So it didn't really matter that much. So that's nice with the pace. But what about his dribbling? Now this might come to your surprise a little bit. The way this game works, when you're not 5'9 and below, your dribbling is never gonna be as good. But he has his own unique animations that you have to get used to. But once you do, it just looks so nice because it's Horse Dino, you get me? He just dribbles with some flair, his running animation, and the hair flinging back all over the place. It's just Horse Dino, right? So the dribbling definitely looks nice. The responsiveness won't be as good as, for example, JJ Yokocha. Neymar. But it's it's basically as good. But for me, it didn't feel as good as their cards. But it's still an amazing dribbling card. Don't get it twisted. He will not be garbage for dribbling. At all. And the skill moves come off beautifully. Now his shooting and clinicality ability. Listen, look. he has the finesse like Messi plus. I love that. We love to see that. He also has the Trivella, which is what I like with my attackers. I either have one of them of a plus, but he has both. The regular regular don't come out of cellular Trivella, which is nice. And when he hits that finesse like Messi, top bins. But there were times, huh? Ain't gonna lie. I was doing the finesse like Messi and I was hitting the crossbar multiple times. But I also think that was the time of the gameplay. I wasn't green timing well. It was just off for me. But I think later on towards the end of my testing this card, the server started getting a little bit better and he felt more responsive and just the card started playing much better. But listen, when it came to the finesse like Messi with the green times, it almost felt like the net was the ocean. That's how big it felt. Something in the water. It just felt like it was wide open. That ish would go so top bins. The keeper's like, what is that? Because it was fast and top bins. That's the finesse like Messi when you green it. Now his defensive capabilities. Now you know me, he is a winger, but he's kind of more of the attacking wing. So I don't give a damn about no damn defense. He's an attacking winger. Now the passing ability, don't get it twisted. If you think this guy's gonna be a dimer for you, absolutely. He can pass. They're not gonna have issues with that in the slightest, bro. Dimer, he'll be good with that. But what about his physicality? Now let's be honest. Horst Dino is not gonna be the strongest player, but let me tell you something. He can still win in the air. If he has the momentum and you jump, he can win in the air for sure for sure and he has 90 strength so it wasn't really that easy to body him off the pilota especially if you hold l2 while you're running and you have that momentum and then a weaker right back or a defender or not even weaker defender you have the extra step on them with horse Dino, you can still probably muscle your way through to get opportunity now i know this card is basically extinct on the market later on down the line you might be able to get the card or even pack it now but the question is now is this card wondrous mid or doo doo. Now, I want you to make your predictions on what you think I think. Now, for me, using this card, the finesse like Messi, the step over Galavantine, oh yeah, he got that. He had his doo doo times though when I would hit the crossbar a lot, a little bit frustrated. Sometimes the dribbling, he was getting clamped up, but that could have been just me with the connection and the responsiveness. But let me tell you something. This card, wondrous. If it's even possible for you to get this, I hope you can. This card is wondrous. Most definitely do that. But don't get it twisted. Some of these expensive cards, I will call doo doo if they're doo doo. Don't get it twisted. But he is not one of them. But I also reviewed this card right here. Be sure to check out and find out if this card is wondrous mid or doo-doo. I also tested the most unpopular card in FC24. Find out what happened in this video. Adios.